I think Invoker is probably one of the top picks for Virtus.pro. I, I think one downside to their lineup, though, if they go Invoker, is that their their long duration stuns are kind of weak. They have, like, Fire Blast. Full on Shadow Demon. He's going to get you every single time, or he's going to save his teammate. And then Shaman's there to sort of protect him as well. Like, they have good ways to defend around that. Virtus Pro, they were sitting on the high ground. RNG, though, marching in force with the four man, trying to secure these bounty runes and maybe getting a first blood as Ramsey's chose to open wounds to try and get a kill, but instead, he may fall. Black shot from Lana. The second place to finish off his level six, right? Yeah, they're trying to anticipate that right now, and that's exactly what he's going to go for, but he's going to walk in. Set they get there in time. Setsu and Lana, they're going to be able to get the Ether Shock as well as the Split Earth held until after the Shackles, they'll be able to get that kill. Trading out Lana is no big deal. RNG coming up to be able to get four or five items, and then you're finally a threat. This is a very mid-game centric Alchemist in the meta right now. Lana's going to be gone on the bottom lane. Pasha rotating out of his lane. He says it's time to take some tower, boys. They cannot kill either. And that's why I said ish, right? Is that Flyby was going to try and pressure that top tower, but Ramses does manage to clear out most of the creep wave, keeps the pressure off that tower, still getting CS. He's just not really threatened by a solo abandon all that much. And they're going to run into solo here. Oh, Monet managed to get the kill on Solo. I mean, he hung around for so long. Like, Monet was just farming yeah. mean too much as it's just an ogre. The bigger news for Veep is they were able to defend their top tower and get the bottom one for free. We're trying to Setsu here is going to be pulled back to Solo with the Fire Blast. Chain sending him up. Setsu still alive, but the final nail in the coffin is going to be the gush from Pasha. It's another force to go for the five mana early. Yeah. That's the big difference here. Pasha. Run into Pasha. Backstroke nearby, but RNG, who had smoked up on the high ground, they're going to be able to find him. Urging Pasha. They're going to be able to get the sounds on him as well. Pasha holding on to the Ravage for a while, but now he can turn. Pasha potentially does manage to get the hole oh. right on top with the three man black hole. They got completely baited in. That watermelon looked awfully delicious, and RNG wanted to take the bite. They do manage to finish off the tide, but it's going to cost them two, possibly three. Another Aphonic Shield activates the Shrine. Flyby, very tanky here. Notes that he needs to be able to fight back. He's got no other options. A second round of Aphonic Shield tanky. for him. Is VP really going to try and chase him down all this way? Another Aphonic Shield's coming up, but the Fire Blast multicast comes just a bit too late and a bit too far away. Still a very good fight for them. Is They're going to run in, find art style here. War trapped up by Lanham, trying to get out, but this should be enough as Lanham picks up the last hit, but Rams more because of Roger. Setsu. Virtus Pro, they have their eyes on him. The slow little roll forward from no one is going to be able to catch Setsu. The TPs are coming in. The Shattered Demon looking to be able to get that disruption, but he's just not there in time. Afu ah, now looks for the offensive disruption. He's got both Flyby as well as Monet, who's going to make his first showing with the Radiance. Solo is going to be the victim once again of RNG's rotation. And they feel fine about that. The Storm gets out. Of Words being used with that curse as well. And Setsu's not quite there yet. Maybe they take a fight. Autumn, he's going to be a little bit low immediately. The Aphonic Shield comes out. They're trying to run Hex. Oh, no one didn't expect that one, but he is going to be saved. He's able to jump out. Now the Ravage, the Ravage. coming down. He's going to be able to hit the Abaddon while they focus down the Shattered Demon. But he managed to get off the Disruption. Can fly by, save him. Or else he's just going to focus on Monet entirely. Monet in front of all these heroes. Now with Setsu in with Radiance as well. As this burn damage coming out for the Life Strike. It's too much for VP to be able to handle. Oh, Ramsey's trying to man fight against his Alchemist with the Fire Blast. Can they actually do it with the Gush as well? So much minus armor, Monet no longer has chemical rage, and he's actually gonna fall. No one dies, but it looks like VP will take on Sensu as well with Pasha living through it all. Oh. RNG, what will win us this game? Oh, for sure. Pasha right now is playing to win 1-1-7, one, one, and seven, but his score doesn't really quite reflect the impact that he's had in this game. Yeah. He's just been a thorn in RNG's side, and you'd like to see them bring him here so that he can defend mid, and look at that, he's here again. He's so gonna make the jump for the captain of VP, but Lottam, he's gonna the be three. Three with a beautiful black hole. Managed to lock down the three, and it looks like Monet's gonna get popped before Flyby could provide any sort of saving grace. Now Wafu will die as well. How many times are you gonna kill Solo before you realize it's just a bait? And they all have range heroes. They have a lot of range heroes, but they keep running into the black hole of Roger. King protecting his team's towers and leading fights. This is a Tidehunter without Blink Dagger, and he's always in a good position. Bottom lane. Jumping forward. Oh, oh no, he actually pulled down the illusion. And uh, now, oh, now. Ramses is way too far forward as a result of it from there. Oh, Ravage going out, but now Ravage has been used for nothing. And confidently contest RNG. And without the Black Hole, without the Ravage,
That's really what signals this is. I mean, I can't believe they're really going to try this without Black Hole, without Ravage, but the Midnight Pulse is forcing RNG outside of the pit. Now the disruption going in. They're going to try and get the kill onto the Storm Turn. They've got it too. With the ult up into the full Earth, the unstable concoction as well. Ramsey's trying to finish off some of the supports, but there is going to be the disruption now from Afu. Flyby's ready to go with some heals as well. Bottom's going to be able to limp away. No one with a buyback is going to be able to finish off at least one support, but Ramsey's, he needs to be able to get out of here with his rage timer, but the unstable concoction nails him. He's trying to get away from Flyby right now. Slow down. Oh, the Black Walker And now looks to be able to chase down the heroes. They couldn't actually get the two big cores of EP, so it'll have to suffice for Roger. The fourth position Enigma, he will be the one to fall. And RNG, can they cancel for it? So that would be a sick pickup, but RNG, they're gonna push the pace. They've already taken this tier two, but they are showing no signs of slowing down as Monet. He's going to go for the stun on the solo, the follow up, the split earth, a clean kill, no rebuttal from DP, and now going to be forced into a four versus five. And look at this tower, it's going down really quickly. Yeah, Monet's just dropping it a bit, but they do have the life to their best combo. Money got hex as well as Jewel Scepter, they're going to try and hit him with the split earth, and no one keeps jumping down with that. No, I love the rest, you can actually see with the final of the he takes that only the no one doesn't have buyback either. Afu does manage to actually kind of the life stealer as well. This is a disaster for DP. And off is good. Swims away, but the unstable concoction is taking it. Gonna find the tide hunter. He's gonna burn out from the radiance in the abotic shield explosion. Just the lot of still getting chased. HP, but he's still good. And Ramses, who had been making this chase for so long, does have his range. He will be able to fight back, but what can he really do with it? Setsu is so mobile that Ramses certainly won't be able to bring him down. He's gonna be forced to TP back to base, and that is going to be a mid lane of barracks at least, if not more, with 40 seconds on the clock for no one. Ramsey's just chased Afu around the map for almost a minute. Doesn't die, wasn't able to help his team. And he's yeah. just gonna go for it. Solo will fall, Roger has the buyback. Oh no, they're gonna lose Ramsey as well, who instantly buys back. How is VP gonna stop this push? Is RNG, they seem unstoppable right now. It's happening in a hurry right now, Cap. They're gonna try and go for Afu with the Solar Crest, Aquatic Shield, somebody heals coming out from the Mist Coil as well. They're gonna turn onto Ramses. Monet runs out of the Chemical Rage, a nice uh, Fire Blast done onto Monet. And now without the Chemical Rage, they're gonna try and bring down this Aegis. Monet, he's somewhat okay with this. They're actually gonna try and focus on some of the other heroes as Monet will slowly take out, but first, they'll be able Guys, to bring Monet's down the next flyby. But you have to deal with Monet at some point in time. He has the Radiance at burning you down. He has that AT aura. Now he's gonna nice be the BKB, but if they finish him off, there it is. They just wait out the Aegis. A beautiful read by VP. It did cost them the racks, though. It certainly did. That could not feel us the lack of the BKB, both the Shadow Shaman and Setsu's less rack. Here's it's the problem. Super fast on their timing. You go in for Lanham, he gets the shove in. Yep. Bye bye, then he'll just reset the fight for his team, anyways. All of your stuns are cleared out. He feels fine, even if he gets Ravager, just pop his ulti is DP got to go in. Up. They decide they're going to try and fight around the strength. They oh, they went on the illusion! Oh, they went on the illusion! They do it! He's going to realize KB! He does manage to get the black hole in the back line, just evaporated! The tech support is already down! Sensu stunned up on the side here, but the cores of RNG are fighting strong. They've already got a bath on Roger. The going to be able to heal him up a little bit more. This core not going to be enough. Ramsey's gets the range off as well. Can they help him? He's got an infest. He should be able to get away. No one's no one's going to get away. Just shy of being able to get to the other side of the cliff, but now he's stuck and now he's dead. Oh no. He has a button to realize too. If they had the damage in that fight, maybe this looks a little bit different. The buyback is available for no one. RNG are here in force. And Pasha certainly needs the help. No one tries to jump over here. He gets hexed up. He's trying to go for Abu. Just your point. He has to answer to France. He's will fail to get the kill that no one could not pick up on himself. And now he's controlled up by the shackles. Finished up by the <laughs> RNG taking number one against CIS powerhouse of Virtus Pro. And that game happened in a hurry. Uh, we were looking at an 82% win probability for BPO. Era. So most likely way washing for carry and VP did it a lot we picked carry for last pick. So let's see what we're thinking of this. Yeah. They have five really good heroes that are running at you. They're just gonna face check team fights. Uh, what I really like about the Warlock Raid King interaction is that the the way that Raid King works as a hero is 
once you go on him once, you don't have to just drop your rock reflexive. Oh, Setsu, that's oh. going to be a first blood for no one. Unexpected in this mid matchup. That did no he just one... get soloed? Yes, he did. Completely solo, completely 1v1. And Roger with the imp is back. Look at Roger. He wants to be able to get another kill on Setsu, and it looks like he oh, might just be able to get it with the Avalanche. The toss back into the Jar oh, he's gone. one runs into the Tier 1 tower range, and that Rocket Barrage will just eat Setsu up. But when you can't gank any of the side lanes and you don't have these pressure heroes, yep. uh, it makes it really easy for the enemy five to just sit behind mid and not really lose out on too much because you know where the tiny is. Oh, Monet, bash after bash, the RNG is in his favor. And with the stomp to be able to finish him off, Lonham claims kill. And that's definitely concerning for Pertis Pro. We heard their coach, R. Zeke. Nice disruption into the split earth. This time, there will be no mistakes. Roger will die. You could hear frustration in RZ. Our copter's timing, and he can maybe surprise RNG. I mean, we've seen Dryercopter. I was quite surprised. Being very successful hero without being paired with the IO bottom lane. They do manage to kill Pasha. Setsu makes the rotation over to secure the bounty runes. They are going to try and get the top lane, but oh, Flyby actually managed to snag that bounty rune. Now the TPs are going to come in to make sure oh, he's they okay. Cancel. They cancel the TP. One last heal before he goes, but Flyby, surrounded by four heroes, just will not make it out alive. The last great fire blast secures it as Solo is the one to get the last hit between the uh, last word and. That little bit of damage off the nude into the enemy safe lane. Virtus Pro is going to do it first. Look at the timing of this. And they're going to run into Ramses, who got stunned up by the Centaur, but he's by the shrine. They need to hurry up and TP. They... Roger already starts it, but. He has a reincarnation. No one. What a fast rotation from him. Instantly TPs into the mid lane. He's going to be able to catch at least one. And look at Ramses go. He's going to be able to get the stun onto Setsu with Roger with a follow up as well. They're going to lay into that Les Shrek and pick up the double kill for no rotation of Roger and no one. They should be able to find. They're not sure exactly where he went to. It's a really good rotation through the trees, but still Afu will eventually be found and killed. They haven't mentioned. No, they're up there. Yeah. And they're just going to play on this right-hand side behind the tower. Have they still tower. want to be able to protect it, but at the same time, if they don't engage into RNG, the Die Ball Gita will finish off this mid-tower, and Roger tried to brave that distance, but now maybe caught by RNG. Monet. Doesn't want to use the Chronosphere for just a tiny. He's going to get bonked in the head, but that's what Flyby is there for. With the Heavenly Grace, and ready to go with the heals. Now Roger's going to be slowed down. They do have good ultimate coming out from no one. They turn around with the Avalanche as well. But can they do any sort of damage? These are really tanky heroes on the side of RNG. Oh, yeah. Come the center, so on to the Gyrocopter. Now they're going to be able to Chronosphere. They can't have a Goffer and get dropped with a Veda Bonds as well. Now the Flat Cannon shots raining out on RNG. All of them quite low, but do they have the catch? A nice toss on to Pasha. Will be able to get the stun on to Lesher and finish off. And now the Rocket Barrage running down flyby. Missile nails him, and there's just nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. He's going to try and outpace no one, hide around these trees, away from the Rocket Barrage, just buy more and more time if possible. Drums being activated by Pasha just to make sure with the TP way, but the stomp is there. This is why Pasha continue to chase with the Gyrocops, but uh, I don't actually time after time, they've just walked past it. It's a, it's in such a weird position where I actually think it's just outside the vision Pasha, at bottom lane. able to run down Setsu, TP out after the Yule Scepter, but the stomp is still there. If he had been a little bit faster on the Yule's TP plane, and partially because Setsu was so worried that one hero would TP back, he has been punished for it. Yep. Shrine rotation. Mass TP's coming in. They know where no one is. As soon as they saw the Wraith King over the top lane, they say he's the strongest hero right now. If he's not here, we can win a fight against VP. But no one is still super tanky with that BKB. Slowed down by the purge. His BKB eventually wears out. Set to go for the split. Nice stop. And landed on Jadar Copter. What a stop from Pasha, though. Gyro, as well as Pasha and Roger, just combo together to get a lot of damage. But Gyro still finished off by Monet, who managed to blink in and finish him off. Now, going back to the shrine, Pasha. Looks to be able to catch these heroes in flyby and Monet. The toss forward into the stomp. No, time walk away from Monet. Does manage to get him away. Nice stomp from Lonem. At least hits the centaur flyby, who's super tanky right now. Monet is actually going to go and try and execute Solo, but instead going to be caught by the toss. Saved now by flyby. Now the BKB activated Solo. The stomp in. They're trying to finish off this Omni Knight. The physical damage isn't quite good enough. It doesn't have to get off the head. Flyby still Monet alive. Finish off that support. And Monet is now going to turn on to Pasha as well with the Soul Catcher, bringing this tanky centaur low. He's trying to find his way out of here, but Roger, a beautiful initiation to stop the force step. Up, somebody die, and they do manage to get him. A follow-up stun on the Monet, but he time-locks it off, and Pasha
Sasha is so low. One swing from Afu, another one. They need a little bit more, and finally it does go down. Rasha with the Yule Scepter into the split Earth is dead as well. And Ramses, you don't have the backup anymore, so he's going to start retreating. So harder. If you're going to go defend that top tower, you have to make sure that everyone gets out. Roger in range of the Yule Scepter. Back to back deaths. He'll die. I don't know if he thought it was going to be a free defense at that tier one tower, but all of our backup. And just being stronger as a five man unit and being set up is so important. But Lan M might get run into here. Ramsey's going to jump forward, runs into Afu, who gets four staff. Nice. Does have the ulti and the disruption. Going to try to reset in. Ra just trying to finish up Afu, but Setsu coming in. They do have the Guardian Sage alive from the Omni Knight. This is going to slow down a lot of damage of the EP, and they're going to throw out the Stampede. Yule Scepter chasing down Ramsey's lives on a sliver of health. He still has reincarnation, but they're going to go for the Omni Knight. Do manage to get him with the stomp, and now it's in Chronosphere. He doesn't get a chance to be able to pop his BKB until the very end, but he's low enough that maybe he can't fight. Monet, he's going to pop a BKB of his own, and there goes the reincarnation of Ramses. Fly by quite slow. Hit by the stomp. And there is the stomp in return. Now from the other Titan. And now with the big percentage based damage, maybe Pasha is actually going to fall here. It looks like too much damage. The Centaur gets overwhelmed. And Ramses tries to run around. Gets this crit on the Monet, but it's not enough to finish him off. And now they just tied around the race. King is still finish him off. Three dead on the side of Ernest Pro with no buybacks. Captain Solo on the retreat, but got to be found as a four staff from Monet. And a time walk will surely end his life. Big time kills. Look at Setu actually. He's looking to be able to run down no one. He's caught up to him. All that mobility into his favor. No one living with just a sliver of health. Roger to be able to intercept with the avalanche as well. Won't get wiped entirely, but RNG in a oh, beautiful Who's going to find him here? Afu managed to find him. Oh, the meanwhile, there's that top push at the top lane. No one is going to be able to burst down his own illusion, trying to deal with Afu right now, but that tier three at top is taking so much damage. Afu made all that space in the world. Gyrocopter will live through the poison stacked up while RNG. Heavenly Grace allows this void to play on the front lines like most voids are not able to do. And Ramsey is going to TP in. They want to take this fight around their shrine area. Plus, they have the high ground. You can't just allow all of your map to get filtered out. They're going to run into each other five on five. Disruption, Soul Catcher. Ramsey's already quite low. Almost getting burned out immediately. Pasha's going to try and get the chain sun, but there's that having the grace. Now Pasha's going to be slowed down. Goes for the sand peak, but immediately the Yule Scepter from Setsu holds him in place. That's Pasha dead. And no buyback either. Monet. Not even have to blow the Chronosphere. Is going to look for another one with that time walk. Marching towards the tier force for the initiation. Coming out from Ramsey with the Avalanche up at the top. The Canic offering as well. They get the Fatal Bonds on top of that, but the time walk allows Monet to stand strong. He's got the Chronosphere on top of the Gyrocopter as well. Half health, but no one. Playing as a black man and damage is going to be enough. No, he gets first down. They're so tanky. It's not RNG. Tanky through everything. Three dead on the side of Furnish Pole. No buyback for Roger as well. He dies. Immediately buys back. Are going to have to walk. A lane of barracks being pummeled down by RNG. No one does have the buyback, but they're still not very strong right now, Cap. 10 seconds left on this Wraith King ultimate. Doesn't have BKB. There's still an Aegis on this void. It's going to last for long enough for them to claim a set of racks. Looking towards mid, but there's still a tier 2 tower. They could just swing up towards top. And the initiation. Ramsey's trying to go on the last rack immediately, trying to deal with the damage. He does have his reincarnation up. Monet is going to take that away from him nice and fast. They do manage to get the toss up in the air on his set to Grant. He's really wanted to be able to lock down that last strike, but can't actually get him. And he may just fall here. It's Monet challenging with bash after bash. Get the The international they just can't kill anybody. the last of this roster. They can't kill anyone, Cap. They hard commit. It must be so demoralizing watching <laughs> Man, by one. The curse strikes again and RNG make it through the best of one. They take down the CAS powerhouse of Furnish Pro and the home crowd is on their feet. The China